Hi, Josh Sinners here with tidbits.com. Today I'm going to show you how to restore files from Backblaze. First things first, you should have the Backblaze icon up here in your menu bar. You click that and you come down here to restore files. You click that and that will take you in your default web browser uh, to your Backblaze account. Now uh, you should probably have to sign in first, uh, but I'm already signed in so I don't have to do that again. You have three options here. I'm only going to cover the first one because uh, options two and three both require a deposit. Uh, and that is uh, you can request your files on a USB flash drive or a USB hard drive. And those are really good options if you're restoring an entire system, if you have a lot of files to restore, um, or if you have a slow internet connection, bandwidth caps, etc. But I'm just gonna show you how to use the free download zip option. So you have that selected. And uh, this is kind of a, a confusing interface because if you click continue to restore, let me just show you, nothing's going to happen. And the reason nothing happens is because I have a private key. And uh, so I'm going to paste my private key in there and click unlock. Okay, now that reveals this file browser. And it, takes a few, it can take a few minutes for this to load. It's kind of slow. So now you see here, I have my uh, file tree in the uh, sidebar here. And so I'm going to expand uh, my Josh Sinners user account there. And if I go into, uh, let's see, just as an example, da -da -da, pictures. Let's see. So, okay, so we have uh, some of the, my, me and my wife's engagement pictures here. So, just as an example, so you just navigate through here. And then you click a file you want to restore. And then uh, you see a check mark there. And then also here on the side, you'll see uh, this little dash that indicates that you've selected a file in there. So if I go to screenshots here, like Apple TV screenshots, and I click that, you'll see that also gets lit up. So when you have selected some files you want to restore, you click continue with restore, you need to do it down here or up here, it doesn't matter. Now, it's time to play the waiting game. You have to wait um, for Backblaze to prepare your restore. And uh, you can click here, check your restore status, but that will send you an email when uh, your restore is done. It can take anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours. It really just depends on, I guess, their server load, now down here, here's a, a, a restore I uh, completed before, and see, and you have uh, a, you have seven days, you have a whole week, you can download these restores. So I'm just 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 as an example, I'm gonna click download here, and see now it downloads, and then you click that, and it'll open up in the Finder. Here, I'll drag, drag over here. I have my downloads folder, just to show you. And here's where the zip file was. And so, eh, see, and you'll just dump that out. That's an old Comcast bill I have there, just as an example. So, and that's how it works. Um, like I said, it's not my favorite interface, but it's not too hard to figure out. And hopefully, you will not have to do this very often. Good luck and best wishes.